Back here viewers, Troy, what have you found, mate? I found me a dirty hoe. <laughs> I bet that's not the first time. Righto. <laughs> what have you got, mate? 12.42, and it says it's pretty deep, Troy. Okay, yep. Actually, no, it's not. Now it's right on top. I don't know what this is going to... Might be a bit of copper. I'm hoping a... I'm hoping Maybe. a coin, but... Surely I couldn't have just missed him. Oh God, what's happening today? There it is. With, oh, for f pocket watch. Oh, it is too. <laughs> and a bullfrog. <laughs> I'll clean that up. Back here viewers, just dug myself one of these little penny weights. 6DWTS. Um, and it was in amongst a heap of nails. Oh. I'll just show you, real old square nails and I had this cracking signal and I thought it must have been something good and there you go, an old mate Troy down there, hang on where is he, hang on let's see if I can zoom in on his head, what did you find metal detecting? I found a plastic button, <laughs> <laughs> that bloke's freaked out, who the hell finds plastic buttons when you're metal detecting, is it old? I don't know, I don't think so, oh well just pretend it's old, alright, righto, the viewers, I found a target, Troy. Can you show them? Thank you. Nice and crisp, as. <laughs> now, I'll give you a listen to with the E track. Have a listen to this thing. 245, what the? It better not be one of those stupid can things, Troy. Well, it was 96 on the dais, so that's. Sounding that way and with that sort of a number, oh my god, is mate. promising. Come on, mate. Uh, I'll get out the shadow in a minute. That's all right, mate. Oh, look at that plug. Oh my god, it's in the plug. I must have just, just missed him. I must have just missed it, Troy. I'll come underneath it, I think, so I don't think it's that deep. Shut up. What the hell's that? What is that, Troy? What? <laughs> <laughs> Troy, mate, now what? Nice solid 80. And every indication that this could be a coin. It sounded like a little half penny to mine. Look what it's next to, Troy. Right next to the shit. So <laughs> hopefully, that's the only shit that's going to be around this hole. Hopefully, it's not shit. You get it? I do. I reckon I can see it. And it's probably a harmonica reed, but look at that. Oh, for oh no. No, what it's a weird chani hinge. <laughs> <laughs> What are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 29. So that was pretty cool. Troy just went for a walk to the car and had a bit of a look around here. Bang! Right up. What do you got, mate? Could be a little half a Troy. Uh, I that's what I reckon it could be. 83 on the dais it came up. Nice solid signal. Like that bloke that used to be on the Paul Hogan show. Who's that, mate? Oh, no, that was Arthur. Arthur. Not Harfer. You remember him? <laughs> Half a dunger? I do actually. <laughs> I vaguely. Uh, MD Melbourne would remember him. What the uh, cricket buckle? Oh, it would have been too, was it? Because I found one like them once before and someone said it was an old cricket buckle. It might have been. There's nothing Sorry, on I think I just missed a bit of that with the camera. I was looking oh, it doesn't, through the camera. Doesn't matter. Nothing on it though, Troy. Weird, isn't it? It is. Nice solid 86, that could be a penny, I hope. Come on, mate. Although I've said that a few times and it hasn't panned out. Well. Oh, oh. oh you motherfucker. What is it, Troy? <laughs> Hang on, just leave it there for a minute. 
So it's got the pin going <gasps> across there. Oh, what is it? You put your shovel straight through it. Right through it. What was it? Oh, that's an old relic, mate. What is it? Would have been a scarf slide of some sort. Well, what was it? Well, actually, no, I didn't. It's meant to have a hole in it by the look of that. Well, it has now. You just put your shovel through it. Yeah, well, my shovel went through it there, but and it sliced the sides of it. What is it, though? That's bizarre, mate. I'd say that might have been a scar scarf slide or something like that. And Could have been. It's got a design on it. It's got... Some lines around it, have a little bit of a look, and I'll have a squeeze in the hole. So there's anything Might else have here. been a toilet roll holder. But I'll... <laughs> <laughs> and you reckon you got something pretty good here, mate? I dug it, and then when the plug came over and flopped over, I thought I've got to get Troy to have a listen to this. Listen to this. Nine forty five and then it goes to four forty six. Okay. The jump between ninety five and ninety six on the dais. And we know nice sweet sound. We know what rings up at that sometimes, don't we? We do. Oh, is it just here? Come on. It's just in that corner somewhere. Come on, mate. Oh, there it is. Where? And it is it. silver. Oh, I see. Hold on. Let me zoom in on it. Oh, it is too. Guess what? It's going to be number two from you this. You're moving around on me. <laughs> oh, I can't help it. I'm excited. Okay, break him open. It's got to be number two from this spot. Oh, you! It's an older one, Troy. It is too. It's fuck. Oh. Hold on. That's I can't. It's hard to see on here. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> you need some Spielberg Productions. Can you get that plug? Look at it. Where is it? What's going on, mate? I just, it's just real dark. Take your sunnies off. Oh, there's the plugs. See the plugs? Yeah, I, I'm just trying to follow it where you move it everywhere. Oh, sorry. I'll... What is this, Troy? It's a half crown by the look of it, the size of that. Yeah, but what? What, mate? What? Flip him over the other side, mate. Very hard to make anything off there at the minute. Now that was good ID because 446 and sorry, sorry 446 right? and uh, sometimes jumps to like 946. Every time I've had that number, I think maybe bar one exception has been a half crown. Uh, yep. So oh good on we'll, you. We'll give track. it a bit of a clean up and we'll get some pickies of that because we're not quite sure on the <laughs> stroke in his machine. Ten forty-seven on the old E track, Troy. I just wanted to show the viewers that. Okay. I'll grab that machine off you. <laughs> oh, mate, ninety-five. Is it ninety-six? Ninety-five, ninety-six. Oh, look at your little coil. It's doing the job. We we think we might know what this is, but we're not going to get too carried away, are we, Troy, mate? Pinpoint's rather small. Yep. Come on, mate. This would be good if it's what we're thinking. Could be an old chap. Oh, what is that, Troy? <gasps> what is that? A bell. It... I'd say it's a bell. Oh, I thought it was an old Bunsen burner. <laughs> Bunsen <laughs> what I'd the... say it's a... A doorbell. Doorbell, maybe a counter bell. We could be at their front door. We could be. Right. 1835, I think I just read on the back of that one. 1835. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, well, the old coins are coming from this spot, which is good. And I'll flip him over. Actually, one side's a lot better than the other, Troy. It is. Look at his head. Yeah, he's got a melon on him, hasn't he? Is that why they call him Bullhead? I think that's why they're, they're called a Bullhead. I love it. I could do a coin range, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> With my noggin. Oh, well done, Troy, mate. Righto. Viewers, mate, look at old mate on my e track. There's buddy having a feast. What's he doing, Troy? I don't know, it looks like a little. Sp he's dropped it. He's going to be in trouble now. Oh, don't worry if he's anything like me. What? Uh, he's panicking. Where is it? Where'd it go? What the? 
She's a two, all right. He's going to bite you. He's going to think you took. Uh, viewers, I had a low tone and I said to try. I'm digging all low tones because that's what I wanted to do. And look at that little Chinese. Oh, I'm loving myself sick. I'll pull him out. And that, oh, that's a, hang on, where is it? Um, that's a nice looking one, Troy. It is. Oh, wow, mate. Come You're on. absolutely smashing me today. Well, you know, mate. Uh, that was just 11.20 or 11.22, but it was just a do, 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 solid signal like that. So there's a good tip for everyone. Dig solid, repeatable signals, even if they are a bit lower. Why is it going all funky? Uh, it's going funky. There we go. And I said to Troy, I want to come down to this bottom part of the paddock. Oh, stop it. Uh, I said to Troy, I want to come to the bottom part of the paddock because we've got a few targets down here. Get on, mate. Righto. Uh, viewers, this is a bit of a round-up on how me and Troy went. We spent a day and a half on some private property, which used to be an old gold mining town and um, pubs and shops and things like that. So when you see this round-up, this is for, for two days, um, all the bits and pieces we got. So I'll start with Troy's relics. Um, huge big buckle again. Now, we're not sure what this thing was, Troy. It's got a nice design on it. I think that was like a, a scarf slide or something like that. Your shovel went through it though. Your shovel did go through that. <laughs> um, that was pretty cool. We found that, we think that might be the back of the locket. Back or of the locket, yep. And a lovely little tiny um, weight. It's got something written on the middle of that Troy. A quarter of a Troy ounce, I think it is. Yeah, and relics, well, we've got the normal relics, spoons and forks and things like that. Um, another really old little hacked up spoon there. And this thing, well, that might have been for melting down gold or something, Troy, we're not sure. Yeah, not real sure, but that's very possible for that. So that's pretty cool. He found this tiny little button. Now, I hope it comes up all right. I reckon it's almost porcelain, that button. It doesn't feel plastic, so we're not sure. It was a bit weird what it was doing where it was. Um, and the coins, Troy's found a nice little commie penny 21 and a 1935? 35, yeah. Oh, sorry, 1835. 1835, yeah. 1835, little sixpence. So, and the other side of that coin's a bit... <clears throat> so, yeah, anyhow, so that was pretty cool. Here's my bits and pieces. Found a couple of... Couldn't tell you. They look like sort of belt buckle things. Um, found this nice little funky thing. It's got a nice pattern on it with a, a clip on the back. So that may have been a scarf slide or something like this. Little barrel tap thingy-majiggy. A lipstick holder, a couple of uh, buckles there, square nail, um, and the coins I found, 22 penny, another crusty penny, a little 27 I think it is, or 29 commie. Um, actually did alright and found a couple of Chinese coins, Troy, where all the Chinese people used to live. You did. So that was alright then, I've got, I think I've found three of these now, so all up, that was pretty good. Um, an Aussie sixpence and a really old little threepence, we're not too sure. But the stars of the show, mate. Ah, oh, stop it, Troy. Is Troy found a Gothic florin. Now, we've done a bit of research and 1853, is that right, Troy? That's right, yep. That was a nice coin. He was super happy. We've never found one of them and... He found it. That was the first coin he's found with the high frequency coil. So that was a uh, that was pretty good going, Troy. It was. And uh, not to be outdone, <laughs> I found this sucker. It's going a bit weird. Why is it going weird? Let me see if I can hold it. That might be a bit better. Um, this is a half crown from 1819. So nearly 200 years old. That coin. Look at it. How's that one, Troy, mate? That was all right. That. Whew. And you can see the size difference, actually. They're a little bit bigger than the Florins, aren't they? So, um, yep, there you go. Oh, and you want to do a bit of a shout-out yeah, to Cleggie? Big, big thanks to Cleggie, Justin Cleghorn from aussiedetectress.com.au for supplying the high-frequency coil, the pin pointer in the bag. Right on, Cleggie. If you want any gear, get onto him. He's a good bloke, and he'll help you out. 
Um, we'll put the uh, link at the end of, well, I've taken a photo, actually, of his business card. So just press pause when you're watching YouTube and get on, mate. Righto, thanks for watching. Just one more thing, quickly, viewers, for those of you who don't think we dig junk. <laughs> we dig plenty of it. There's that much of it we have to put it in a bloody bag. Look, there's bloody horse stirrups and... Oh. Not that half our roundup wasn't junk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, righto.